Okay, so one of the categories I have is I can't afford an electric car. Okay, how much is the cheapest Tesla? All right, here we are. We're looking at Model 3 right now on Tesla.com. Order now, Model 3. Take off the ins whatever savings you might have. Go to cash. The cash price is $38,990. Yes, sir. That is the cheapest brand new Tesla you can buy right now. Um, this does not qualify for the 7,500 tax credit. So if you're one of those people that don't like the tax credit in the first place, hey, that's okay. You don't have to go that way. On the other hand, if tax credit's important to you and you really want a Model 3, consider leasing it. $299 a month. I didn't look to see how much it costs to uh, get into it. Uh, it says it's saving you $83 a month in gas. This is what they're estimating. Of course, that all depends upon you. But there you go. If you can afford $40,000, you can be in the new Model 3 right now. <clears throat> well, maybe not right now. This is this. This actually is ordering it. There is another choice, of course, and that is come to Tesla vehicles. Whoops. Inventory. This is the inventory. Um, let's update this. 45. So my zip code is 78645. Uh, this is a model, th mo this is a model Y. Whoops, let's go to model three, please. All right, here we are. Here's a model three, uh, model three rear wheel drive. It was a demo vehicle. You can have it for 38, 230. Where's it at? It's in stealth gray, which is the default color now. The relocation is Plano. So you pick it up in Plano. Now, yes, they have they have other ones that are in the Austin area. Don't worry. Okay, but there we go. Brand new. This is off the lot, so you save a few hundred dollars because it was a demo vehicle. What's the what's not like? Okay, so I get it. Some of you, this this is too much of a stretch. So I had a friend who was challenging me, and I said, well. Just look for a used. Okay, Model 3 used. 23,100. Okay, 24, 24. So these will qualify for the used EV tax credit, which means you're down to 19,100 after the tax credit. Wow, or 20. 400 after the tax credit okay and these will have some warranty with them too so there you go anyway that's that's the intro into the next <laughs> comparison and it's compare, comparing I think it's actually this 2020 model 3 okay okay so I was talking to a friend um, about car prices. And uh, I just whipped out, whipped out my phone, said, went to Tesla, looked at used vehicles, Model 3s, and boom, that's right here. Okay, um, not that I expected this. It's $23,000 that's used, has 43, almost 44,000 miles on it. It's a pretty basic car. So your basic warranty, there's still until September 2024 or 50,000 miles, whichever come first. On top of that, because you're buying a used car from Tesla, they're adding one year or 10,000 miles on top of that. The battery and drive unit limited warranty runs through September 2028 or 100,000 miles. Okay. Uh, it has been previously repaired, so who knows? 
uh, exactly what happened. And it's apparently coming into Houston at two weeks. Okay, $23,000 because it is under the $25,000 used car limit. It's eligible for the $4,000 tax credit, which would bring it down to $19,000. $19,000 for a used Tesla Model 3. Tell me why you can't afford this. I don't know. But there you go. And it occurs to me, maybe I should do a comparison between these. So the range is 250 miles, which probably is more like 230 220 maybe just because of age although my i actually have a 2020 model 3 um it gets right right around the 300 that it was supposed to get when it was new so it's it quite possible it's it's doing well i just don't know what what happened with this car okay you can go 140 miles per hour how fast do you need to go Zero to 60 in 5.3 seconds. Now this is a rear wheel drive. Yeah, standard range plus. I guess standard range plus is 250 miles. Okay. How does this sound? Okay, let me, let me go look something up and try to do a comparison. Okay, so I found this Camry up at Steel Hyundai up in Kyle. Uh, their list price is $22,987 or $23,000 basically. Um, where, where is it? It has 40,938 miles. So comparable miles. It has a four cylinder. It's 2.4 I guess. Interestingly enough it gets 29 miles per gallon city. Wow. Okay. Um, it's interesting they mentioned something about having to tow the vehicle in. I don't know. That's up to you guys to figure out what it, what's important. All right. So I'm going to go with this. Ongoing dead battery issue but this is 2020 and the this is a 2019 right i'm confused okay that's that's where we're going to start with we're going to start with this compare it to that tesla i found um then you tell me which one's uh, a better deal or you don't have to tell me I know which one's a better deal, but whether or not you feel the same way is up to you. There you go. All right, so this wraps up this particular segment. Uh, it's about how much does an EV cost. I didn't go into all the other EVs. I mean, they just had Mary Barr on TV last night talking about how they're going to make the Chevy Equinox an EV uh, for 30000 maybe thirty five. She wasn't exactly clear, but that's brand new. So if you'd rather have Chevy, there's an option. The Ford, how about a Mach-E, which is an SUV actually. Um, Chrysler's supposed to be coming out with a Jeep at some point that's fully electric and it'll be cheap. So if you're still thinking about it, take your time. Right now, prices are on a downward trajectory. So, and it makes sense because interest rates are high, right? So there you go. But hopefully I've shown you that, yes, you can get into a reasonable Tesla for a lot less than people originally thought. There you go.